Well, hey guys, backwaters and backroads here, obviously. I was doing a lot of yelling today, <laughs> not because I was mad, but for another reason. So my throat's going to be a little messed up on this one, and I promise I don't have the Rona. So I picked something up today, this morning, that I want to share with you guys. So I'm going to turn the camera around, or actually I'm just going to spin around here and show you what it is. Did any of you guys know that U-Haul used to rent campers for a couple years back in the 80s? I didn't know this until recently. I'm going to turn the phone around and show you guys this. What we have here is a 1985 U-Haul camper. I'm still doing some research on it, but basically, I, as far as I can tell, they were built by a company called Burrow, uh, which I know about. And for a couple years, U-Haul thought it might be a good idea to contract uh, some really beefy little campers that they would rent, kind of like they do with their moving trailers and stuff like that. It was a total flop. Um, I don't think it made them any money. And so what they did was they stopped uh, renting them, and I think they sold the fleet to the general public. And so there's some of these floating around out here, obviously, but they're very rare. <clears throat> um, you can see here, this was probably the number on this one. And... Because they were rented out, they made them really, really strong. They have that really heavy-duty bumper on the back. You can see here that um, they have a really beefy frame underneath. And I, they're, like, double-hulled. So they're, like, uh, a lot thicker than the, the average little fiberglass camper. Basically just made for kind of abuse and, you know, what people will treat things that aren't theirs, you know. At this point, nobody knows where it's been, but 14 years later, a U-Tall trailer right here has mysteriously returned to the company. And as you saw here on the fender, some other places, it's apparently had quite the adventure. So, uh, <clears throat> I've, I've always wanted one. I mean, I've, I've you know, <laughs> they've come across my radar here and there, but uh, never thought I'd come across one for a good price. And I just happened to see one show up in my local area and I went and fetched it today for a pretty good price so let's take a look at the inside in the back of a house which is really nice it faces south it's sun drenched very warm kind of just a place to greet your guests when they come to your estate so it's got a little couch on the front got a two burner stove Got a little fridge, a little ice box. It says U-Haul. That's actually pretty clean. Probably put a, like a block of ice in there. This is the first time I've been looking at any of this, so we're just doing this together, guys. A little cubby hole. This be cleaned up. No wads of cash that people forgot about. Not yet, anyways. Got a little sink. Fire extinguisher. A little bed back here, which probably turns into a dinette. Yep. And light enough to be towed with my toaster, which has almost 300,000 miles on it and a little 1.5 liter motor. And it towed it home pretty good, so technically probably tow it with anything. If, let's just say if that can tow it, then almost anything can tow it. So yeah, guys, I'm going to turn the camera around and talk to you some more. So I have a question for you. For folks that have been watching my channel for a while, 
Would you like to see this camper stick around my channel? Um, going on some adventures, maybe even like this winter cruising around Tennessee and the south and the Ozarks and stuff. Um, would that be something interesting to you guys? I, I know there are other people on YouTube, quite a few actually, that you know do similar things like uh, Slim Potato Head is one guy that's very popular, I'm sure. If anyone's watching my channel, more than likely you've come across his channel. It was far too long since my last trip to the woods, but I eventually made it to much greener pastures in a little spot overlooking a mountain river. And I believe he has a camper very similar these days, though he used to have a little A-frame if I'm remembering correctly. And there's some other couples that live in little scamps and stuff. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, you know, any, if you can think of it, it's been done on YouTube. That's the, that's the thing, right? So, it really just comes down to whether you enjoy the person doing it um, and whether they're doing interesting things, I suppose. But uh, I've never, you know, on my channel, I've never just lived out of a camper for a while. And I've thought about doing it, um, and this would be a good one to do it. And so I've thought about just keeping it around for a while and cleaning it up and go do some adventures, maybe in, even this summer, mix it in with the scooter trips and the, the boating trips and stuff like that, and um, see if we can make some interesting videos. It's just kind of another way of just going camping. Um, <clears throat> I've been accused by people, you know, over the years, friends and family, that my life is just one big camping trip, and, and they wouldn't be wrong. That's pretty much true. I just, even here on the beach, I just kind of live like I'm camping, there's the lake out there, so, um, so yeah, if you got some thoughts on it, you know, leave a comment down below, and, uh, tell me what you think, I've actually had a bunch of these campers, I've had a ton of scamps, and some burrows, and some trilliums, and pretty much if, if it's a fiberglass camper, I've come across them in the past three or four years, and what, that's one of the ways I make money is I buy them cheap. You know, when I'm out on my trips, I'll see them in someone's yard or something, and I'll just knock on a door, and I've often, I've, I've gotten way more than I ever would have expected. Um, but they've, they're starting to, you know, become really known, and people aren't really selling them cheap anymore. And this one wasn't exactly cheap, but it was a good deal. Um, <clears throat> and so... Uh, I've never been able to really buy them back for myself. I mean, I guess I could, but I've always just wanted to make money on them because that's kind of one of the ways I stay afloat without having a traditional job. So, but I probably can afford to keep this one at least for a while or maybe forever, who knows. But, um, you know, it's not like it's going to go down in value unless it falls apart or I wreck it or it gets stolen or something. So, um, <clears throat> which let's hope it doesn't happen. Look out! What do you think, little dog?
Okay, cool, from Ufen, yo. I'm sorry, I really don't know any German. That's all right, I know German. He's sitting over there. 